This is the second daily video update for today, Friday, January 14th, 2022. For the Unitarian Church of Lincoln, I'm the Reverend Oscar Sinclair. As I said, this is the second video update that we are posting today. The one right behind this in the playlist covers some of the same material, um, but was actually recorded yesterday. This morning, since we've posted that first update, the city of Lincoln, along with the local health department, called an unscheduled news conference, announcing that they were putting a directed health measure with a mask mandate back in place and emphasizing the severity of the crises the Omicron wave is bringing to our community. Lincoln Public Schools this morning announced that they are canceling Friday classes for the next three weeks and multiple hospital systems in Nebraska are, are implementing crisis standards of care plans. Here's how the mayor began her remarks this morning. Lincoln, our schools and our hospitals are in crisis and they need us to act now. I am asking anyone in a position of influence in the city to elevate these urgent messages of vigilance for the next several weeks in response to the crises our schools and our healthcare system are experiencing in this moment. Pastors and other faith leaders, the mayor asked, not only do you need to take precautions in your houses of worship, but in your sermons, you can ask your congregations to take precautions in all aspects of their lives. There is no greater challenge in our community this week than the rapidly spreading Omicron variant that is spreading in our schools and our healthcare system and you have the credibility to focus your members on the crisis at hand. So, if I have credibility with you over the last five years, if you have ever thought that I'm a person to listen to in moments of uncertainty or crisis, hear me when I say that this is a thing that you need to pay attention to. I do not want to bury anybody in this congregation because of COVID-19. We have not yet. I do not intend to, and part of that means taking this seriously. Per our policy right now, we are going to have an in-person component to worship this Sunday. So if you are vaccinated, if you wear a mask, and you need to be in person, then we welcome you for that. But this is my ask. If participating in worship online is an option for you, please use that option for the next couple weeks. I know this is hard. I know worship online is not the same as worship in person. Believe me when I say nobody in the congregation feels that more than I do. And I know that we have been responding to this pandemic for a long time and many of us just want it to be over. Circumstances do not change because, they, because we want them to. So we have a responsibility to keep ourselves and each other safe even when it's hard, even when we don't want to do it anymore, especially in those moments. Next week, we'll be holding our third Thursday service on Zoom. Next Sunday will probably be like this Sunday where I will encourage folks to participate online if that is an option for you, but we will have more information in the coming week about that. In the meantime, I encourage you to listen to what the health department and our hospitals are saying. Please stay home if you can, wear masks when you cannot, and stay safe. Be well, everybody. I'll see you on Sunday.